We are so happy that you're back again, honey, because we were talking about destiny over dinner. Ah, uh, now you know what? We stopped with Catherine, and so I want to hear exactly what you were going to tell us about whatever you want to tell us about <laughs> about destiny. <laughs> you asked the question: Do we have we ever? stepped out of God's will or ran from God and uh, or are we running from God and I said not now and I was talking a little bit about how I am used to controlling things and when you have that controlling spirit <laughs> you tend to want to do things on your own and not necessarily wait for God mm -hmm. but after falling a number of times I decided that my way wasn't really working <laughs> so I stepped in and said, Lord, I'm going to allow you to handle this. Oh. So where I am in my life today, I allow God to handle every situation and have just made a decision wherever you say go, I will follow. And we had some scriptures and my scripture actually ties into this uh -huh. uh, just in terms of me wanting to control things and God being in control of it all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Psalms 138 and 8 says, the Lord will accomplish what concerns yes. me. Your loving kindness, O Lord, is everlasting. Do not forsake the works of your hands. Mm. And no matter how long or how far, how hard I tried to run, I tried to do things on my own, he said, I am going to do <laughs> what I have called you to do. You Amen. will. And once you step into that, there's just such a peace. Recently, I have really been just really focusing and meditating on his scripture that says he'll give us peace that surpasses yes. all understanding. Yes. We say it all the time. Mm. But I had a situation show up when I released my book. I recently released this book, The Sensational Woman, How to Love and Embrace Your Greatest Asset, You. And it tells my story and it's not always flowery or wasn't always flowery. Mm -hmm. And my mother did not like parts of it. And she called and she was really upset and I was never moved. Mm -hmm. And I stepped back and after we got off the phone and I said, Lord, why am I not bothered? And 20 minutes later, that scripture came. I will give you peace that surpasses <laughs> all understanding. My mind did not understand why I, why I wasn't bothered, but my spirit was able mm. to rise up and say, I mm -hmm. will give you peace that yes. surpasses all yes. understanding. Yes. To be able to sit in that place any day, I will surrender my will yes. for his. Yes. Amen. Yes. You know, the scripture that says, uh, he who began a good work in yes. you will bring it to completion. Yes. Philippians yes. 1, 6. And that, yes. that scripture, I just embraced that scripture because I needed him to begin the work and I needed him to complete it. And like I said before, I never thought that I would be speaking in front of people because I could not communicate well. People would say, what did she say? Right. Uh, I can't understand her when she talks. My, I was not clear. So when I, when I did, when I wrote this book or when the Lord helped me to write, this book. Uh, I never thought I would write because like I said, I was always in the slow classes. Mm -hmm. I was never a good reader, a good speaker, good anything at school. And yet the Lord helped me to put this book together. And he also helped me to, I now have a program on HSBN TV. And so I just want to put a plug in there that who would have thought that I would have been before people and reaching nations in, in this uh, capacity as a broadcast. Caster. So God does, he says, continue, continue the good work, Rosanna, and run the race that I put in yeah, front yeah. of you mm -hmm. and get, take off all of your, all of your insecurities, all of your fears, all of your disappointments and run your specific race because I have great things for you to do. And I want you to impact many for the souls of Christ. Mm -hmm. I think it reminds me of that that scripture where he says, I know the plans that I have for you. Yeah. <laughs> Is that yours? <laughs> Hebrews 12, two is the one that says, run the race that's set before you. I don't have to worry about her race. I don't have to worry about her race. Run the race that's set before you. And, and at times I uh, have uh, been running 
when he wanted me to run, but then there were times that I was crawling when he wanted me to run. That's right. I was walking when he wanted me to run. I was laying down on the track Amen. when he wanted me to run. <laughs> Amen. But the interesting thing about the Holy Spirit, who's your helper, mm -hmm. he'll leave you alone for just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then he'll say, I'll help you, but I won't do it for you. Yes. That's right. And then he'll say, and we know. That's a powerful statement. That, yes. is. that all things, yes. <laughs> I mean, ain't nothing on the other side of all, y'all. Okay, <laughs> that all things work together yes. for those who love the yes. Lord, you know, yes. and who yes. are the called, are the called, mm -hmm. and each of us is called mm -hmm. according to his purpose. Yes. Amen. But you have to care about we, his purpose. Yes. His purpose. According to his yes. purpose. Yes. Yes. Right. And, so, you know, Mama T, it's, you know, when you talk about destiny and what's keeping you and what's holding you back, and, you know, with the type of testimony that I have of going through suicide and depression and dying and actually the Lord raising me up from the dead and bringing me back to life, it brings out every voodoo, every witch, and they don't understand. I'm not here attacking them. Uh -huh. I'm here to bring hope and healing to them because they're bowing a knee to a God who is tormenting yes, them. Yes, yes, and the right. true and living yes. God wants to give them life. Yes. But it comes mm -hmm. with... A, a price mm -hmm. and, and often it the does. type of price that it does not all Christians are used to paying that type of price mm -hmm. and that type of price is your your life gets threatened mm -hmm. threat death threats come against your children mm -hmm. they're attempted yeah. to be oh, abducted yes. from you yes and then when yes. you when it's time for you to go on camera for you know for millions of people or or up on a stage where it really counts and <laughs> and things of that nature it, it, lo and behold, if there's not a life-threatening situation on your family or a tragedy or a crisis, mm -hmm. and then you have a choice. Yeah. That's right. yeah. And when it happens over and over and over, sometimes you want to quit. Yeah. Well, you know, and the you Lord says give up. that the godly will suffer persecution That's and persecution right. comes in any form or any, any way, but it, it is an opposition. So if God has left us in a fight, if you're in a fight right now, if you're in a situation, a crisis, a, a, something difficult, then know that God says, if I allowed it to come your way, it's going to work together for good. good. Your, yes. your scripture, yes. it's going to work together for good or he would not have allowed it to happen. And we have seen him, all of us, mm -hmm. that God works it together for good over and over and over, over in our lives. You, if we still meet the requirement, if we, we choose submit. His love and Jesus His love. purpose. That's right. And I love That's right. uh, uh, Romans, not Romans, it's the other R book, Revelation, <laughs> <laughs> Revelation 12. <laughs> Oh, oh, the last one? Yeah, the last okay. one. All right. <laughs> Revelation 12, all about the enemy, the dragon, mm -hmm. those, mm -hmm. and the dragon. Um, it's about Israel, of course, and Christ, how the enemy tried to devour him at his birth. Mm -hmm. But it's also about the woman, <laughs> because it says the woman, um, the enemy came to spew a flood out of his mouth yes. to wash her away. To, mm -hmm. and that's uh, when I got the revelation of that, I stopped saying, I can't handle this, I can't take this. Right. I just started saying, I surrender this. I surrender, yeah. And Absolutely. it says yeah. that he's, yeah. he, the enemy spit a, spl a flood out of his mouth, and then it says, the earth opened up <laughs> to help the woman, right. yes. and then God gave Ooh. her eagle's wings yes. to fly above mm -hmm. the, 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 that which the enemy sent her way, yes. Yes. and yes. as she flew above it, she flew to the place that was prepared for her, yes. which I liken yes. that yes. to Psalm 91, yes. the, the, uh, uh, being under his wings, right. yes. and she flew under him yes. for that protection. And then it does say, if he's frustrated and can't get to you, he will go after your children. Mm -hmm. But that's where we then can stand up in the enemy's face and said, not on my watch. Not yeah, on my that's watch. right. That's not right. Watch. And you know, as we do that and we begin to keep our focus on Christ, mm -hmm. he brings us through every Everything trouble, every triumph. And in my destiny, when I stand before the Lord, I want to know that I have brought every soul. I have made every effort. And when I stand before him, I can stand there unashamed, yes. knowing that I have fought the good fight, Amen. I have won the race, yes. and I can stand there 
knowing he's pleased with me yeah. and that I never you know, gave up. Yeah, an overcomer. Uh, overcomer, abusive absolutely. Abusive marriages that, you know, maybe some of, them have, some of us have gone through. I've been through an abusive marriage. I've uh, had a child that was born with cerebral palsy and he was on life support for 30 years. Oh. He just, uh, the Lord just took him home. Uh, rebellious children, whatever, whatever the flavor of your oh, yeah. trial yeah, is, yeah, yeah. you know, but God says that through it all, through it all, we are overcomers. Yes. We're overcomers mm -hmm. and we're overcoming everything. And Paul, and Paul says, he said, this happened for the furtherance of the gospel. Mm -hmm. Our trials, our hardships, our crisis, mm -hmm. our tribulations mm -hmm. go and they work for the furtherance of the gospel, because yes, now we have a message yes. that we didn't have yes. before yes. of yes. overcoming. Right. But we also have to take yes. action on, the, on that. We Definitely also have to it. take the time to purpose, to renew our mind yes. and yes. align our thoughts with God's thoughts yes. so Amen. that we do walk into our destiny. Because when we don't do that and we're going through a trial, we get feeble. Mm -hmm. And so we have to act, take action yes. and we have to action. purpose ourselves. We, we don't walk into our destiny laying there saying, oh God, you did it for them, but you won't do it for me. Right. We have to actually take authority over our own soul and make a choice on who and what we're going to become. Yes. Yes. I've noticed that God doesn't show up to my pity party. Right. I throw the party and he doesn't show up. I invite him. One time I heard him say, this is self-pity. And I said, but I just want to get it out. And then he's, then, and then, and then he, then I said, can you give me 15 minutes? And then I, then all of a sudden, I felt the Holy Spirit was grieved. Yeah. Mm. And I said, Holy wow. Spirit, what's wrong? And he said, the 15 minutes of words that you're going to open your mouth and say yes. will take months to unravel yes. because oh everything God. is an open door. Yes. And he said, you will have Jesus. opened the door to the enemy. Yes. You will have opened the door to word mm. curses over yourself. And eventually you'll have to re repent of them and eventually you'll have to work through them and come on the other side. He said, I don't have to do all that work if you'll stop now. So are each of you saying that destiny really matters? Yes. What you're saying, yes. okay, yes. that destiny really, why yes. does it matter so much that we have to look at the destiny that God has given us? We've got our own destinies, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we create our own. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do the other. You mean you know, I'm going to be famous, I'm going to do <laughs> plans, plans, plans. We have our own plans. Yeah. Well, I know I would plans. be insane, mentally ill, crazy, and nobody would probably like Again. me. Again? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, because, you know, the, the mental illness is all throughout my family line. Oh, yeah, mine it's too. It's either open the door <laughs> and allow God in, uh -huh. and you can be sane and saved, mm -hmm. or you close the door mm -hmm. and you act mm -hmm. yes. and you mm -hmm. lose your mind. And, and you lose your mind. <laughs> right. yeah. but he, I yeah. want to share this one thing mm -hmm. uh, that became so real to me is um, Romans 8. It's, it's like a, a, uh, a core and it says, uh, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus, let's say it, in sets me Jesus. free from the yes. law of sin and, and death. death. The yeah. key is mm. the law of sin and death. Satan is not a creator. Mm -hmm. He's a perverter. Mm -hmm. And the law of sin and death is a perversion of everything that God had mm -hmm. that happened the moment Adam and Eve chose mm -hmm. to disobey. Mm -hmm. Then that's when sin, death, sickness, and all of that rotting, th things rotting, all that happened. That is the prevailing law. That's right. That, you don't have to do anything or make any decision for that law to prevail. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But the laws of life in Christ Jesus must be activated on yes. purpose. Yeah. You must choose, on just like uh, you were saying, you must choose it. Mm -hmm. And when you choose it, the grace that surrounds all of us, it, it it then becomes activated. You have to activate. God gives the grace. Mm -hmm. Jesus, the first drop of blood, brought the grace of God. Mm -hmm. And he gives that grace. 
but it has to be acted upon. Yeah, right. We have to yes. act upon the name of Jesus. We have to act yes. upon the word of God. All things work together for good for not every single person on the face That's of the right. earth. No, no, for those My brother was a drug it. addict. He died uh, with drug complications mm -hmm. and 30 years of smoking and, and he was only 48. Mm -hmm. But he was determined to die at 30 mm -hmm. and I told him he could not die because God and I loved him too much. Mm -hmm. And he was going to be praising Jesus before he left this earth and he was. And he was. Yeah. You know what? Well, we have to submit to the will of God. We have to submit to the will of God and then we have to persevere in the will of God. And then like the Lord says, don't grow weary mm -hmm. in well doing because if you don't fate, you will reap mm -hmm. the reward of perseverance because mm -hmm. perseverance has a reward yes. and it's called yes. destiny. Yes. And when you reach destiny, you are revitalized yes. and, and, and refreshed with purpose every single day. And that gives us life and, and life more abundantly. That's when God says, now you have life and life more abundantly when you do reach destiny. You know, Monty, so, I remember yes. that one of the things that I'm reminded of when we're talking about destiny is that it's not about me. Mm -hmm. That's, I mean, it is in my world, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. it is oh, my yeah, world. Yeah, world. And, um, but I have to remind myself yeah. that it's not about me. Mm -hmm. It's all about Him. Yes. And so destiny matters because it's all about Jesus. Mm -hmm. And when we leave this earth, when we leave our fleshly bodies, and we all will. Mm -hmm. We're all yeah. going to do that. Yes. Yeah. And when, when we do that, zoomed up. We're zooming up, or <laughs> or or we're zooming down. Uh -oh. And and that's that's how serious it is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because there are no second chances. Yeah. You know, the yeah. Lord has given me a second chance, and there are other hundreds of people who have those testimonies. But there is no reincarnation. But there is no reincarnation. There is not. Yeah. We have one opportunity to choose the God who we're going to yeah. serve, yeah. and. It's all about Him. It's all about His purpose, His kingdom, His will, His glory, and for all eternity. And so... Yeah. Here's what I love, though, because once you actually step into that space of understanding mm -hmm. that it's not about you, right. it's all about Him. And when we go into His Word and we begin to understand His Word, and He tells us things such as study to show yourself approved. Right. When we go through trials and tribulations, and you can go back to His Word, as we yes, sit around right. this table, yes, I'm hearing famous. all of these scriptures. Yeah. It just gives you a fuel. Mm -hmm. And the one that I always hang on to, I don't care what's going on, to just keep me in a place of calm, it says, the weapons will come, but they won't prosper. They won't prosper. Yeah, that's right. Amen. They will not. And it's that's like, right. uh -huh. so things can be going crazy, mm -hmm. but if you sit in his word and say, Lord, I know what you promised me. You said that things were going to happen, right. but it's not going to affect me. Right. That's right. Right. So that's right. I need not get Psalm crazy. 91. I right. need not yeah. <laughs> fall Psalm out. Not, yeah. Right. That's so right. it, and when you trust him, you don't. Mm -hmm. right. When you truly you trust him, you don't fret in the midst of a crisis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you truly trust him, you can have your child on their deathbed and you have peace that surpasses mm -hmm, understanding. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, you can hear the worst news ever, but you know he's got gotcha. you. Yes. You know, because yes. you trust your daddy. Yeah. That's, yes. good. That's, That's good. That's I truly good. believe. I truly believe that when you praise God in the midst of your storm, yeah. it's like music to God's ears. Oh, and yeah. that's what faith is all about, that faith mm -hmm. walk. When you just go out there and when all the obstacles are just hammering you and it looks like there's no way and then you just stand on your faith and your word and you really say stuff, you know, you wear that the breastplate of righteousness yes. and the helmet, the helmet of salvation and you go through all those and it gives you the confidence you need to just block all the naysayers out and to stand on your word and give God all the glory in the midst of your storm. Amen. Yeah. And God says that he goes for, he takes us from being severed or being fragmented to favored. Yes. He says he brings us from crushed to chosen. Yeah. He, he takes us from being devastated to predestined. And I love how God, if we just stay with it, if we just persevere in hard times, no matter what, and we keep our eyes on God and we submit to his will, he will get us to destiny. He will. A part of his destiny for us is that we would feel that the Lord, we would know that the Lord our God is with us. Yes and there's none like him. And you can say anything else you want to, but I just had to get that out today. Amen. Okay. Amen. I said, do a little preaching here. <laughs> because I know in whom I have believed. And I'm persuaded that he's able to help me. Amen. Why? Because I've been in the closets of life. I've been through the hurts of life. I've been through the rejections of life. 
I've had heartache in my family. But I can tell you today <laughs> that I know in whom I have believed. Yes. And my destiny is to say to you, a part of it, is to say to you, understand that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the and life. life. No man <laughs> can get to the Father except, except by him. Amen. And I want to see every last one of you in heaven when I get there. And I have determined that none of my children are going to die. My grandchildren, my great-grandchildren, and those to come mm -hmm. without knowing that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. That is the destiny God has for each of us. Mm -hmm. He doesn't play favorites. Mm -hmm. He doesn't, even though he loves us, he loves all of us more than anybody else. Mm -hmm. You know why he can say that? Mm -hmm. That's right. I, he loves all of us. <laughs> he made us all, and we, he made us different. He made us so differently, yeah. but he gave us the same privileges. He gave us the same God. Yes. He Thank gave you, us the Jesus. same grace of Jesus. Yes. He's given us the same love, mm -hmm. and he will not withhold any good thing from you. That's your destiny. Right. Did you know that? Now, if anybody else wants to say something, no, you can go on and right. say it. You know, okay. I, I, Isaiah, <laughs> I, I, can I share Isaiah? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Isaiah 50, 53, 4 says, or 53, 2, I'm sorry, says, when you walk through the waters, I will be with yes. you. When you walk through the, the rivers, the rivers will not, not overwhelm you, not overflow you, yes. not overtake yes. Yes. you. Yes. Yes. Although yes. it feels like it's going yeah. to sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. But he says, even when you walk through the fire, the fire will not kindle upon you mm -hmm. and will not you. That is his promise. So he is a rescuer. He mm -hmm. will rescue you mm -hmm. out of any situation mm -hmm. that you find yourself in and he will deliver you because yes. that's our father. He is a rescuing, delivering God. You want to say <laughs> Isaiah 43. 43. Is that what I said? Yeah. Um, no, you said oh. 53, but it's 43. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I just want them to look it up. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. I turned and don't take sometimes. our word for it. Go look, look it up. up. Thank you. Yeah. Go Bye. look it up. Yeah. Yes. Bye. Yes, that's your actions plan. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, all is well. And I tell you, I am so glad that you come, came to dinner with me because dinner is a wonderful place to air out all of our feelings over comfort food. Yeah, hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so why don't you, why don't you call some friends over? Have them eat dinner with you. Talk about the things that are on your mind. Talk about the Word of God. Invite them, if they don't know Jesus, to know Him. All of us can know Him better, but goodness, it sure tastes good. But it just gives us the comfort of knowing that we've got friends. We've got people who will walk through us, walk with us, through the trials and tribulations of life, through the question marks, through the happiness of life. So I suggest to you that dinner and destiny should be your plan within the next 30 days. Okay? Bye-bye now, I love you. This is Mama T.